Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. But before we start the show, remember, you can always support the Harsh Twins at OfficialHarshTwins.com. If you're a true American, a real patriot of this country, pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today or hat. Get you 20% off. Use discount code Chinese virus. You know, we call it the Chinese virus because it comes from China. Yeah. China's making viruses great again. While we making t-shirts great again. But anyway, they just impeached our president again. And um, I was looking through, like, you know, they debate whether to uh, impeach him. Yeah, and that's I, funny. They don't debate anything on the left. Well, that's what they call it. They call it debating. That's yeah. not debating. <laughs> well, I'll just show you the video. It's it's ridiculous. These people on the left. Yeah. It's just, I'm like speechless. I don't know what to say, but just go to the freaking video. <laughs> Madam Speaker, St. Louis and I rise in support of the article of impeachment against Donald J. Trump. If we fail to remove a white supremacist president who incited a white supremacist insurrection, <laughs> it's communities like Missouri's first district that suffer the most. The 117th Congress must understand that we have a mandate to legislate in defense of black lives. The first step in that process is to root out white supremacy, starting with impeaching the white supremacist in chief. Thank you, and I yield back. Man, that's crazy as hell, man. Y'all probably thinking, how in the hell somebody like this could get voted in office? Yeah. Well, well she's uh, she represents Ferguson, Missouri. <laughs> Does that name ring a bell? Yeah, like Maxine Waters. She represents what, South Central? <laughs> <laughs> so that explains a lot, right? <laughs> but you know what? That was a beautiful speech, man. Yeah. I'm glad to see some people still have free speech in this country. But without proof... What you just said, that's crazy as hell. Some people will say, you inciting violence. Yeah. I mean, and I have proof. How many people, how many Trump supporters have been attacked for wearing a MAGA hat yeah. or a MAGA t-shirt? Yeah, it's all over YouTube. It's caught on video. They get, they're getting the shit kick out, kicked out of them <laughs> yeah. because they, people think they're the KKK. Yeah, because of people like you. When are you getting impeached? Hmm? That's a slam shut case. I got you on video. I got sound. I got you in HD, baby. <laughs> when are you getting impeached? Hey, let me say this. I mean, to call somebody a white supremacist, it cannot be an opinion. It has to be a fact. It's yeah. got to be evidence of, to support that. Right. If you don't have any evidence, that's called slander. Yeah. You got another article of impeachment. Well, that's two. Slander and inciting violence. Yeah, we're going to throw the book at your ass. <laughs> I got you for another one. I'm going to throw the book at you. Left-wing conspiracy theories. It's three articles of impeachment. Yeah. You're done. You're done. It's nothing you can say. I got, I got you on TV. You got sound. got HD. I got color. I got evidence. Yeah, I mean, you got to have proof to say something like that. Now, it shouldn't be too hard. President Trump's been in the public eye yeah. for decades. Decades. Shouldn't be hard to find evidence that this man is a white supremacist because every white supremacist I came across yeah. on video and TV, yeah. they was always very vocal in what they believe and what they think. Yeah. What's the point of being a white supremacist if you can't tell anybody? <laughs> I mean, I don't think Trump told nobody. <laughs> How are you going to keep the movement going? Yeah. How are you going to get the movement going? <laughs> yeah. I need to see his evidence because I've been supporting this man for four years. Yeah. I don't want to support a white supremacist. I would like for you to show me yeah. what evidence you got. You ain't got no evidence. Yeah. It's just self-victimization. It's just a lie to continue to lie to black folks because y'all want that vote. Those people in Ferguson, South Central, Compton. Yeah. Y'all manipulating people because y'all know how this country has a check of pass. So you use that against this country to get people like you, these radical left-wing conspiracy yeah. theorists, voted in office. I mean, because that's what, that's what this is. If you want to say everybody on the right to disagree with you as a right-wing yeah. conspiracy theorist, why can't I call you a left-wing conspiracy theorist? Because you have absolutely no evidence to back up what you just said. Yeah. And on top of that, you said his followers, followers are white supremacists. Yeah. Do I look like a white supremacist to you? Look how big my lips are. <laughs> you <stupid>. I'm black. <laughs> you stupid. Yeah, yeah. I kind of probably made everybody watching this video uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Why did you get a pass? That's a double standard in this country. Yeah. 
I mean, why why do people like you get a pass? You shouldn't be representing this country. You shouldn't yeah. be in office because yeah. you're not trying to rebuild this country together. Yeah, you're trying to destroy the conservative voice. Yeah, you're dividing this country. Yeah, I, there were countless blacks inside that Capitol building. Yeah, that represent that are uh, that voted for Trump. I mean. This past election, a record number of black folks, people of color, voted for Trump yeah. because they believe in what he's saying. Yeah. And it's funny, y'all keep saying the white, the right, is a bunch of white supremacists. The Democrats, y'all invented the KKK, Jim Crow, all of that. That yeah. was you guys. Yeah. And now yet they trying to say, oh, they switched parties. When? What year? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't get the memo. Yeah. M- Must have went in my junk folder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I mean, we we making fun of this whole issue because here on the right, yeah. we think this is comical, this this BS that's coming out of our mouth. Yeah. But what's sad is people actually believe what this woman is saying. Yeah. How did this country get so damn stupid? Yeah. Because you're getting pimped on the left. Yeah. You black. Hey, pe- did did um? Uh, I don't mean to cut you off. Like, mm. like black like black people like to make fun of like being pimps. I think black people invented pimping, right? I think black that that's definitely from the black community. Pimping? Yeah. It was like a black thing. Because every time I see a white prostitute, man, she's always got a black pimp. <laughs> how, did, how did you come across the Bitch, white? where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Um I've never seen a white pimp. Yeah. I mean, okay, well, let me let me say what I was gonna what say. What I think of a pimp is a black guy with a um a comb through relaxer. He's wearing a fur coat, platform shoes with yeah. fish in them. Yeah. My point is this. <laughs> I, I, there's a method to my madness over here. Yeah. You're being pimped by the left. Like, yeah. like the pimp, they could be white or black. Right? They could I ain't be. never seen no white pimp. Let's just say it. For, I ain't never seen a light-skinned black pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say for the sake of this argument. And they always driving Cadillacs. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Let me say something. Okay, let me... Uh, <laughs> Okay, the pimp. How does? Because I always didn't understand how could a woman sell her body. Yeah. Right. And didn't have a man coming in and take all her money. It's yeah. because the pimp is pimping her. What does he tell her? He builds up. You're beautiful. You're sexy. You're great. Mm-hmm. But without me, you're nothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What does the Democrat politician do to the left? They pimp their constituents. Yeah. Especially the black ones. Yeah. Hey, look, there's racism out there. Yeah. Once I get in, I can take care of you. Yeah. If I'm not in there, white supremacists is going to take care of you. Yeah, they're going to put you back in chains. That's what Joe Biden said. They're going if, if when Trump yeah. was running, they're going to put y'all back in chains. They make comments like that. They pimping y'all on the left. Yeah. What are they promising you? Big government, they're going to take care of you. Yeah. They're going to take care of your college, your yeah. medical insurance. Hell, Bernie Sanders said that he's going to start giving black people houses. <laughs> <laughs> You need me to be successful in this country. That's what yeah. they're preaching to you. Yeah. You're on the right. What do we preach? Limited government, not white supremacy. Yeah. Take care of your own medical insurance. You're pretty much, you're free. You're free. You're, you're voting. To, like, I don't, when I vote for President Trump, I'm not voting because they're going to give me anything. Yeah. I'm voting for the people on the right because I want the government to stay out of my life. I want to re- keep. The freedoms that I have. Yeah, I want freedom of speech. I want to be able to uh, wear a gun if I want to. Yeah. I want the government out of my life. I yeah. want them to stay out of my pocket. That's why I vote right. Yeah, now on the left, y'all voting for what? Socialism? You, y'all want the government to take care of you. You actually voting for higher taxes. Who in the hell in their right mind votes for higher taxes? Yeah, Dumbasses. <laughs> Who the hell going to vote for a man that's going to raise your taxes? Well, he said it was going to be, he was going to only raise the taxes on the rich. That's what they said. But Even if that was true, shit rose downhill. Yeah. You tax the rich. What yeah. do you think they're going to do? They're going to lay off some people. They're going to raise their prices up. Yeah. They're going to get you, the money back somehow. Yeah. They're rich for a reason. Yeah. You're poor for a reason. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I think it's a mindset. That was beautiful what you said. No, look, it's a mindset. Yeah. There's a reason why people that was born rich become poor. The yeah. mindset was screwed up. That's the yeah. reason why LeBron James, who grew up with nothing, was poor. Yeah. It's where he is because of his mindset. Kevin Hart, he, from the stories I heard about him, man, he used to sell DVDs out of the back of his car. Look where he's at. He's black, yeah. and he's under five feet. How the hell did he make it if this country is filled with white supremacists? Yeah. They hate short little black guys. <laughs> 
Hey, man. Look, the leading actor's black. The leading yeah. comedian's black. Yeah. How is that possible in a white patriarchy? Yeah. I'm telling you. They, they, they are self, they are victimizing you for yeah. your vote. Look how successful Obama is. Look how successful all these politicians, and people in Hollywood, Snoop Dogg, all these people. Yeah. Did they, white people feel sorry for them? No. Let's give them an opportunity. Yeah. One of these days, y'all going to realize y'all don't need a politician in your life. Yeah. Only thing you need is your freedom. Yeah. You're in the best country of the world. Yeah. But you got people, politicians like this, spreading these conspiracy theories about yeah. a man. But they, ha they have absolutely no proof of this. And y'all yeah. believe them. Yeah. Because you're getting pimped. You think you need them. You don't need anybody. How's, oh. how's black people uh, getting pimped when we, we invented pimping? <laughs> Put a white man in a suit. Yeah. And y'all fall for it. Now, y'all crazy as hell. <laughs> that was a damn good show. Yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese Virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.